Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'd like to thank all the new subscribers who have joined the channel. Um, the channel is growing, slowly growing, which is nice. Um, obviously you'll come to see the XR3i, see what's been going on and new bits being done. So I'll show you what I've done in the last video. In the last video I was um, had all this bit cut off and fabricated a new bottom to it and then fabricated that bit in there. That's now all primed up um, and done. Um, rust treatment I've been using is this one um, which seems to work pretty well. Um, seems to do a nice job haven't had any problems with it um, that's quite a big bottle I don't know what size it is now but that's, that's the size of the bottle anyway so that's what I've been using that's been pretty good and then finished off with some Halford's Finest which seems to work um, once they're primed up it don't seem to let the rust through so that's that's that bit all done I've um, cut this bit out here I just opened it up lifted it up because there was um, a bit of flaky rust between the two I've lifted it up and cleaned it back to bare metal and it isn't too bad there so I've put some rust treatment on there and then put some primer on it it's a weld through primer so hopefully I can push that back down and weld it back um, if not I will snip it off and put a new bit in but what I'm going to do today is try and make up another square um, to go in there because it should look like that one that size and it's rotted out and I need to put that one back in because there's a grommet go in there for a screw to go in for the wheel liner so I need to make one up for there um, as there was quite a few people interested how I made all the squares up in here and put new ones in from scratch um, I thought I'd do a video on it today but that's turned out pretty good that was a lot of time and work doing that um, and quite a lot of cups of cups of tea to get it nice and um, flat so it was a lot of welding in different places letting it cool down grinding it down and going to have a cup of tea and then come back and do a bit more so I think the video was about 10 minutes long and that probably took me probably about an hour and a half two hours to to weld all that in but I think you all agree that's turned out pretty good um, but the only bad, bad bad bit about it is you're never going to see this now because there's going to be the washer bottle in there and the wheel liner and then the bumper on which is a bit of a shame really but that's back to how it was originally now and I think you'll agree that's turned out pretty good so I'll get the camera set up and we'll mark a bit of metal out and start making a square up. Right, I've got my scrap bit of tin. Um, just a bit I was making up when I was making that sashi rail up. And obviously used it just to get the welder set up. Um, it should be... Put a straight bit on it. It's about one mil. I'll just say that about one mil. Let's go and do lining now. It's just over one mil, so that'll do. <coughs> Right. 
There we go. Got a rough square now. Next bit to do is just right round through there and find the centre. Don't have to be bang on, but as long as there's somewhere near. Right, automatic dot punch. Just do that. Right, we need to do them ones. Just about there. See that? I'll we'll just dot punch them now. Dot punch the centre. Dot punch the centre one, and one's round the outside. At the minute, I don't have to be spot on, but you don't really want to get them ones right on the corner. If you just do them in, I'll show you why I've done that. You can put them on the corner, but then you've got to get them a hundred percent. Um, but we've got a bit of leeway here to play with then. Right, we'll drill these out. Let's just draw that out. Right, I've drawn them out now. Um, they were like a, a two, two mil drill bit, which I just just broke. So I hate using small ones. Um, I've drilled that one out a bit bigger. Um, I'm now going to drill that out a bit bigger, so it's near enough up to the lines. Um, and then I'll show you the next bit to it. So we got, I think we'll get a, a go to five. As you can see I've drilled that, I'm nearly up to the the line now. So I'll do the next stage of it now. The next stage is I've got these mini um die, die grinding bits uh, which fit in the like the Dremel. Um we'll use probably that one first, I think the pointy one. So Put that in the cordless drill just on a low speed, part of the centre.
As you can see, I've owned up a bit now, so I can now get in um, this triangle file and also the square one. Square done now, just with some easy tools, mostly marked out, just two files, smallish files, a flat, sort of a triangle file and a square file. The square file is just about the right width for it, but a bit, a little bit of time messing about with the die grinding bits on a drill on a low speed, you can open it up. Um, but that's how I how I've done all them squares like that so that will now take that plastic grommet for the wheel lining and as you can see look as you can see that that is a loose it's a tight fit in there but when it's in look it's, it's a little bit loose so when the screw goes in there that should open it up um, nicely and secure it so that's that bit done now so that can be cut to fit um, to replace that other square which is rotted out as you can see the size of it but uh, I can get on there to compare that Let's see how far that's opened up because that should That should take one of these in there, look. It's a lot of stick in the bucket at the minute. So, that is... That plate cut out. or well, the square cut in there now. I've left, a, I've got a good bit of metal there, so I've got plenty to play with when I chop this out. So I need to mark this up now. Um obviously a lot across here um, where the top is and down there um, down here to show me the side to show me roughly where that's got to be 
but the next bit is to chop that out. And this is Russell, new addition to the family. Only two weeks old, bless him. So that, yeah, that's Russell. So um, he's a new addition to the family. So that's why I've been sort of a bit quiet on YouTube. Um, the last two videos have been a bit of a rush to do because I've been sort of back with the force of the hospital. So with that, I'd say um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. No oh, shadow. Now you're all in here now. Hello Lucy. Yes, we love you too. What are you doing?